Good evening. This is my attempt to review the courses or uh, review the content material that is uh, presently on the Praxis to Biology exam. So this is it's pretty much my first time going over this material uh, on a Google Hangout. But it's nonetheless, this is something that we covered in class the other day. And I just wanted to make sure that some of the other students who were not present during the review had a chance just to take some time to go in and just look at the the previous biology content compendium and the former uh, biology uh, content compendium. Well, first, let's start off by showing you that when we first, when the compendiums first came out, it was very basic. The material was uh, pretty much just kind of broad categories type things, but it wasn't any clear cut way as to demonstrating how it was, uh, what, what material that needed to be, that we needed to know. And then when we look at the, the uh, latter compendium, um, and we see that it's more detailed, it, it gives more of uh, more examples or um, more categories, more, more topics underneath the, the categorical uh, content knowledge. For example, <clears throat> when we look at the nature of science, we know that uh, the processes involved in scientific, scientific inquiry, pretty much it gives more of a detailed description about making observations, uh, quantitative versus qualitative, formulating and testing hypotheses, identifying experimental variables and controls, drawing scientific conclusions, using scientific sources, sources and communicating findings appropriately. And, but in the previous one, it wasn't too much detail with it. It just gave just very broad categories. And then in the, um, in the, the uh, companion that, we, that students need to know the materials between of, of section B, science involves many disciplines, chemical in nature, biology, mathematical, math, math, mathematics and biology, such as statistics, proportions, physical laws and principles governing biological systems. When I had a chance to go in and and categorize some of the questions that I was putting together for uh, the practice exams in my modules, I was, I had a somewhat of a similar, uh, I had an issue with determining what questions went where. So when I pulled the companion out, the newer companion out, it gave me more of an idea of what things, what questions were categorized and where they needed to go. So I could, I could construct more of a specific uh, and tailored uh, test for the particular students. Now we, we just keep going along the way. We have differences among facts, hypotheses, theories, and laws. And that made it very easy for me to categorize when I saw certain questions uh, related to that content. Cell theory, germ theory, uh, heredity, evolution, ecology, and of course, I saw a lot of Mendel, uh, Gregor Mendel and Charles Darwin uh, type questions when I was putting those, uh, finding resources. And of course, you know, the old infamous Christian Walk DNA model uh, classification of organisms. The NAS, I've seen a few questions of those on the on exam. Uh, appropriate use of measurement. Of course, we, we know we have precision uh, metric units, SI units. Uh, Units of conversion, scientific notation, significant figures of, of, of linear versus logarithmic pH. Yeah, I've seen pH a lot on some of the, in some of the questions that I've been finding related to the content material. And, and then when I look at the topics covered in the biology content, I see pH is in molecular and cell biology. But as a fact, but as a matter of fact, that uh, some of the uh, questions uh, related to mathematical processes will be in the um, uh, nature and science uh, uh, topic or category. Well, and and you within this biology content uh, now you would you also will have to interpret a lot of graphs graphs and charts and tables to uh, draw conclusions and make predictions. You will have to construct and use scientific models to explain complex phenomena such as uh, how the models are used to. Um, how they're selected and, how, and what purposes they uh, serve and procedures involved in a safe preparation storage using disposal of laboratory and field materials. Um, 
molarity and percent solutions. I've seen a few of those. I know I've seen a lot of acid and base solutions while preparing a lot of the resources. Uh, flammable or caustic materials, just maybe a few of those. Biological specimens and waste, how to appropriate and safely use in care of laboratory equipment. I've seen a few of those optical equipment, such as uh, the different types of micro the parts of the microscope, separation equipment, gel electrophoresis, chromatography centrifuges. I've seen those questions embedded right into the material that uh, the application material uh, for the uh, different types of questions. Sterilization of equipment, autoclave, ovens, uh, safety and emergency procedures for science classroom and, lab and laboratories, safety materials. I've seen some of those. Um, just a few of those type questions using of laboratory equipment. And for molecular and cell biology, now of course we know that we, we know that's a lot, has a lot to do, that's weighs a lot of material. You you will have about 30 questions uh, particularly from that category. And it it, um, it counts for about twenty percent of the overall test that's required. But some of the material that you are responsible for is atomic structure, organic versus inorganic molecules, chemical bonding, uh, hydrogen bonding, covalent bonding, ionic bonding. You will have I've seen several of those type those type questions. Molecular structure, carbon dioxide, ATP. Uh, water properties, uh, cohesion, high specific heat, micromolecules. Uh, I've seen some questions related to, uh, of course, biological processes related to the chemical and physical gradients, osmosis, diffusion, and, and we can't forget about the uh, overall structure of the cell and then what types of uh, diffusion or uh, how, the, how does material enter and exit the cell. You will have questions related to chemical dynamics. Anabol anabolic and catabolic reactions, of course, I've seen many questions of those. Reduction, uh, oxidation reactions, and those would be uh, some of the light dark reactions possible. Um, structure and function of enzymes and factors influencing their activity. Active site structure, substrate binding, oh yes. Reaction rates, uh, reactions, and kinetics effects of temperature, pH, and inhibitors such as your charles and balls long biochemical pathways and energy flow within an organism cellular locations of biochemical pathways uh, photosynthesis oh here we go with your c3 and c4 your light and dark reactions photosynthesis and we can't forget about the uh, phototropism type of uh, concepts cellular respiration fermentation krebs cycle electron transport system uh, can't forget about glycolysis you will have a number of questions related to how um, glycolysis goes into the Krebs cycle and a number of ATP being uh, generated. Uh, chemiosmosis, um, major differences differences between prokaryotes and eukaryotes, uh, such as related to cell size, membrane-bound organelles, cell walls, chromosome structure. Uh, it's a circular versus linear. That's something that you may need to uh, look up, be familiar with structure and function of cells and organelles, plants versus animal cells, most definitely. Um, cell membranes, membrane-bound organelles again, cytoskeleton. Cells maintain their internal environment and respond to external stimuli. Selective permeability uh, within, a, particularly uh, uh, with active and passive transport, water, water molecule, osmolarity, cell surface, proteins and cell communications, um, exo exocytosis and endocytosis, hormone uh, action and feedback, all those are related to say, how the cells maintain their internal and their, uh, and respond to external factors. Uh, cellular division and cell cycle, how they are regulated almost differently. I've seen a number of questions related to the stages within the cell cycle. Uh, mitosis, co even comparing mitosis and meiosis, and the uh, various at the various uh, points, uh, cytokinesis and cell cycle checkpoints, uh, and how the cell cycle is re regulated, um, pertaining to the environment. Uh, you have also have to know the structure and function of nucleic acids, such as the generic function of the phosphate backbone and DNA versus RNA. 
that's uh, the, the differences between the two and the purposes between the two. A uh, complementary base pairing. I've seen just a few of those, but I've particularly seen a lot of the graphs uh, related to uh, base pairing. Chromosomal structures, such as the nucleosome, tel telomeres, uh, DNA replication. Oh yes, uh, a number of those because those questions are easy to, to ask because there's so many different uh, stop points along the way. Processes involved in protein synthesis as a matter of uh, because that goes right along with the DNA replication. You know, we have RNA transcription, mRNA processing, translation uh, relating to uh, ribosomal structure, and tRNA, and of course, regulation of gene expression, promoters, enhancers, uh, transcriptions, operons. Uh, cells may undergo differentiation as well, and specialization, uh, differentiation of gene expression, nature of, lim uh, nature of mutations, of course, and I've, uh, I've seen some questions related to spectral photometry. I've seen some questions related to DNA, oh yeah, DNA sequencing and polymerase chain reactions, gene therapy cloning, and then we move right into the genetics and evolution. Um, I know I mentioned before in the nature of science section, the very first section about Gregor Mendel. Well, now we get into the specifics of the Mendel's law and predicting probable outcomes given in any crossings. You have the, uh, become familiar with the independent resourcement, the law of segregation, oh, most definitely the pedigree analysis. And then you have to look into the non Mendelian inheritance, such as the, uh, the sex linked inheritance, multiple alleles, uh, co dominance, and incomplete dominance, polygenetic in, uh, inheritance. If you tend to not have material that you need, I've had a student to really give me some uh, to give me some really great resources uh, to help her uh, with the, uh, understanding the material, and and I, this will be attached in one of the uh, one of my uh, websites, to, so students will have this material handy. It may all already be out there on one of my websites. Um, as a matter of fact, maybe I should take you to it right now. Let's see if I can go to it. Let me maneuver to it. Let's go over here. Let's go to my little website here. Let's try it. And I think this one is called Student Learning and Teaching. Let's take a look. See if it's already there. Biology resources. Let's see if I can have some. Yes, I have a number of resources here for you. And I think those are already here. Absolutely. Here we go in the biology, biology comprehensive review and these are absolutely free and this this is not for sale this is for your this is to help you assist you with passing the practice but there's a number of material uh, a number of sources that's available for you and this one this particular resource is it's already categorized for you and this is based on the the old um the old practice uh, content material, but nonetheless, the, the sources, the resources are still good. But it gives you just a number of things that you can, you can use to study to get to prepare for the biology practice exam, even right down to the uh, converting uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius and uh, vice versa. And these are just some great tips of great inf information. I think what you may need to do in, in order to enhance your, uh, to increase your chances of being successful with the exam is start to take note cards, write them down, or take your notes, because reading is one thing, but when you're actually involved in the learning process and, and writing things down and taking notes, that's when you start to learn a lot, a lot more as opposed to just reading. So there's a number of resources available is to assist you with passing this exam. But let's go back to some of the material that you are responsible for, some of the content uh, topics. You need to know about chromosomal genetic changes within the genetics and evolution uh, category. Uh, please understand, uh, know about genetic variation, such as mutation, crossovers, and genetic exchanges, and sexual reproduction. Um, also be familiar with oh yes distribution of movement of alleles within the population oh i've seen a number of questions oh and the hardy weinberg equilibrium uh you may want to get some note cards or become familiar with the material 
related to Hardy Weinberg equilibrium, and know the process of uh, natural selection, natural and artificial selection related to evolution, sexual selection, and uh, the bottleneck. I've seen that question maybe once or twice within the material that I've had to go through. Um, so I skip down to genetic basis of speciation. Of course, you need to know reproductive isolation uh, and models of evolutionary rates, gradualism, gradualism excuse me. Uh, pan, uh, panspermia, I've seen that question a few times going through the material that I've been preparing for you. Uh, lack of genetic diversity, and these are just pretty much basic concepts that you need to be aware of. Now we get down to diversity and life of organism uh, biology. I think that accounts for about 20% as well. Let's see. Go back here, make sure we can find out the right percentage. Yep, it is 20% as well. So we'll go back over to the uh, section over here. There it is here. Oh, wrong one, sorry. There we go. With this, we need to become familiar with cellular organization, growth and reproduction, regulation and responses to environment, and how organisms uh, obtain and use energy. <clears throat> and this is a section where you need to become familiar with the uh, classification system of the kingdom and domain system. I've seen a number of questions I may ask you, uh, give you a certain prompt about maybe a, a goldfish or, or, or a starfish, and then it will give you its phylum. And then you're responsible for matching it up based on the uh, either the kingdom or the species or the genus. So you need to be very careful about how you, about learning um, what what organisms are based uh, uh, based on their, their kingdom and sub levels. Defining characteristics of viruses, bacteria, protists, fungi, plants, and animals. Of course, the structure of each one, most definitely. And you, if you use your resources that are available to you, not just this particular one, but they of of they have other sources. If you use your resources to study as you are going along the way, you will increase your, your chances of success with this with this test, because it is all about how you organize the material that you have at your uh, that you are uh, that you can access but it's, it's not about memorizing it is about understanding the organization of the material that you are presenting uh, defining uh, you need to know the modes of nutrition organization reproduction by uh, replication binary fission budding um the uh, characteristics of the animal phylum uh, body plan, body cavities, rep modes of reproduction, temperature regulation, organizations of hierarchy of multicellular organisms, cells, tissues, organs, and organ systems. And this is where we get into the, uh, the five, uh, five components of the uh, organ systems and animals, cardiovascular, re respiratory, reproductive, digestive, uh, excretory, nervous, endocrine, and Im immune systems. Maintenance of homeostasis in organisms, the role and structure of uh, each one of the uh, body's components, the kidneys, hypothalamus, pituitary glands, you name it, those are these are various questions that you will have, even the cerebellum from time to time. Uh, feedback mechanisms, the role of hormones, uh, and the diuretic, ADH, insulin, SSH, uh, LH, you just name it, the number of hormones that are available out there. I mean, that, that are available in, in the human systems and as well as the animal system, the role of behaviors, um, reproduction, uh, you know, fertilization, embryonic development. Uh, oh, of course, menocot versus dicot. Oh, yeah, a number of questions uh, related to plant divisions. Dermal, vascular, uh, xylem, phloem. Uh, I have seen so many questions uh, related to those, uh, those concepts. Flowering stems, leaves, roots, mirror stems, most definitely plant life cycle, reproductive strategies, pollination strategies, when I see dispersal. Plants obtain and transfer water, oh, most definitely roots, xylem transport, control, stomatas. And then we move toward the, um, e the e ecology. And this is pretty much how the organism responds 
uh, is impacted by the environment. The population's hierarchical structure of the biosphere. Populations, communities, ecosystems, biotic and abiotic components, resource availability, habitat, and niche. I've seen these questions over and over and over again. So please become familiar with these concepts. Um, and it, it bring out your old notes uh, and use your uh, web resources, creation, symbiosis, uh, competitive territory, territory, that big T word, changes occurring during ecological secession, primary versus secondary secession, types of characteristics of biomes, uh, aquatic, terrestrial, energy flow in, 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 the, in the environment, trophic levels, wow. I mean, and the information just goes on and on and on, food wells, the different types of cycles that are, that are out there, water cycle, carbon cycle, nitrogen cycle, phosphorus cycle, all these are questions and concepts that I've seen on this test. Natural e ecosystem recovery, human effects of ecological systems, most definitely I've seen pollution, the greenhouse effect, habitat destruction, deforestation, introduction, introduced species, uh, re remediation. Uh, I've seen just questions on top of question. Science, technology, and social perspectives uh, know how to use the information related to and how to integrate technology. You know, the impact of uh, solution, uh, pollution, mitigation, uh, resources management, waste, uh, recycling, conservation, how to protect the, how to protect the habitat, how to restore the habitat, uh, nine point sources of pollution, uh, consequences of the impact of human activity, the, the waste management, global warming, warming, epidemiology, agriculture, uh, waste management, production, use of uh, consumer products, habitat, societal impacts. All of these are questions related to, uh, I've seen all these questions related to these deep concepts, renewable and or sustainable use of resources, ethical research concerns, uh, societal concerns. There, there's just so many different uh, topics that that you can study and, and become familiar with and you would, you would never waste your time. You just have to pick something and just begin to study. One thing I found is that when students are studying, they need to uh, take notes. So I just wanted to review a few of these things with you and to make sure that you were aware. And I hope that you are uh, very successful with your studying endeavors. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me.